Why are you the biggest obstacle to your own speaking success? And how can you change that? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. The other day, my son Brendan shared a quote with me, and as soon as I saw it, it had a great impact on me, and I thought, i got to share that in a tip. That is so powerful. Here's the quote. You're over here doubting yourself when so many people are intimidated by your potential. I love this quote on so many levels. And as a side note, I generally don't like to share quotes unless I know who the author is. I'm not going to take credit for it, definitely. I haven't found the original author, so I'm going to put it out there to the universe right now to say somebody, some wonderful, thoughtful person, created those words, and I'm sharing them with you now. What does this have to do with speaking? One of the biggest challenges I have to deal with when I work with individuals or groups is getting them to understand that they are far better at speaking than they imagine. They've probably bought into the myth that society tells us that speaking is the scariest thing you can do. Or they've had a bad experience. I know that held me back for 25 years. I had a bad experience as a kid and until my job was threatened when I was 31 years old, I wouldn't deal with speaking or I didn't do it well. Here's what I want you to remember. If you are willing to stand up in front of a group of any size and speak, you don't understand how much people are in awe of that. Very few people in the population will stand up in front of a group and give a presentation. Even fewer will take the time to understand their audience, to put the their thoughts in some kind of logical order and really work at making a meaningful presentation. The fact that you're watching this means you're in that small minority of people. I've mentioned this in other videos. It is natural to fear speaking. It's some long ago coding that our ancestors put into us as a survival mechanism. Those survival skills are not needed now. We're not going to die from speaking. Those aren't saber-toothed tigers in front of us. Those are people who want a meaningful message. They want you to succeed. So the next time that voice of doubt pops up, remember the quote, you're sitting there doubting yourself when so many people are intimidated by your potential. Remember those words, and that will give you a boost of confidence that will help you create a more dynamic experience for your next audience. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.